<laughs> it is raining. And it has been raining and raining and raining all day. It is cold and it is wet. Here, one second. I've got to show you the jeans I was wearing earlier today. Not tell. They're still wet. I took them off and changed into sweatpants at about one o'clock or no earlier than that, like twelve thirty. So what? My shoes, which are really worn out, and I need new ones anyway. I need new black flats anyway. Oh, but it never fails. If I wear flats, it'll be raining. Always. I went outside and it's raining and I'm complaining and I'm, I'm my feet look disgusting. They're really gross. <laughs> I've got like black and crap all over my feet from my shoes. I came here and I put on my house coat that my grandmother made for me a few years ago. Because it is warm and fleece and wonderful and I had forgotten to bring it to school but I went home this weekend and I got it. It brought me joy. So yes, um, oh, and another good thing today, I didn't have to, I'm not going to have to sit this week. My 1.30 Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, which is very good. Or, <laughs> I was too tired, I was going to take a nap but I was annoyed at the quick capture which would let me record this about four times. Hmm. Anywho. So yeah, I'm not gonna have to this week, which I mean I like the class okay, but it's nice to have a class I don't have to go to. But I can snap during. Um at the moment it is two twenty one PM in the afternoon. I just looked out the window about three minutes ago. It is still raining. Yeah, um oh my last video, I got some good feedback on that. Good ideas from people. Um, Natasha, who her her YouTube username is not not Sala. She gave us some good suggestions. And she's now my YouTube buddy. I love you, Natasha. Um, and Dreamer two three four five. I think that's it. The numbers are get moved around in my head so I could might have gotten wrong. Give me some good suggestions, good, good advice, and ask me a question, am I crazy? And he said it was a trick question, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to answer it just yet. I think I'll wait a while. I'm going to cop out for this one. I might answer it next time. I'm not sure. I hate trick questions because I tend to overthink them and still get them wrong. Um, for this video, I thought I'd just, you know, kind of hang out with you and show you, I thought I would show you some stuff that I brought from home to have here that reminds me of home and stuff. So, um, first up, I'm going to show you a picture of my beautiful family. Can you see them? My mom and my dad and my sister and me. I love you, family. Yeah. But um, my sister's name is Ellen. She's 12. She's 13 in January, which boggles the mind. Yeah, I love my family. I was really glad I got to spend time with them this weekend. It was a lot of fun. So, I love my mommy and daddy. And I showed them <laughs> I showed them my YouTube so they can now see me. And well, I wouldn't let them watch it while I was in the room because I it's almost as bad as hearing recordings of myself singing. I really hate it, because it's just weird. Anyway, um, next, oh, another picture. Um, I was in Beauty and the Beast at the local community theater, and, oh, it's really bad there. Um, there's me in the middle, in costume, and there's, um, the Ministry of Music at my church, and my good friend, and my other friend, 
they came to see me and they made shirts with my pictures. Um, I think his had a shirt of me when I was little. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one had a shirt, a picture of me when I was little on it. And it says, beauty and, and this one has a picture that was in the newspaper of me now. And it says, the beast. So, they were a big hit. And everybody there, everybody thought it was hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, other stuff I have. Oh, I got this when I was little. Because Belle is one of my favorite Disney princesses. Um, so, I refound her uh, like a year ago. I got her at the Disney store when I was little. And so I was like, I've got to bring her to college with me. Yes. So. Um, ooh, I got this at the Harry Potter release party at the library where my mom is the librarian. It is Harry casting spell at you. Avada Kedavra. I'm not going to say. Expelliarmus. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Hence the little Harry food. Mm, that's kind of scary. Oh! Okay, um... Oh, I also have Eowyn. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I'm such... Such a nerd. Oh my gosh. So yes, Eowyn. I got her for my birth... Or Christmas. Either Christmas or my birthday, I can't remember. But she has a little button. Oh, that's weird. She goes with you with her sword. <laughs> oh, last one. <laughs> it's gonna show you exactly how much of a nerd I am. This is my Mozart action figure. I purchased him at the Library of Congress this summer when we took our vacation in DC. My little Mozart action figure. Um, you can get online and you can download a little piano, like that you can print out and fold up, and you can play it. How cool is that? <laughs> they had a Beethoven one too. But I just have to get Mozart because he he did more choral stuff and operas and such. They had a librarian too, which I wanted to get for my mom, but stuff at gift shops is expensive. Especially the big ones like Smithsonian or the Library of Congress. Super expensive. So I spent like a ton of money there. I got that and I got a music box for my friend and Book work, something, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, there's a book I'm reading, my fun book. It's Endless Night by Agatha Christie. I love Agatha Christie books and mysteries and such. Um, I'm nearing the end of it, and I, I'm like, whoa. Whenever I read one of her books, the ending is never what I thought it was going to be. So I'm a little disappointed in the ending with some people. It's really sad. But props to Agatha Christie for always proving me wrong. Never get those right, ever, ever, ever. So yeah. Anyway, it's really wet outside. Um, oh, when I came in here, I was going to watch the episode of Chuck that I missed last week. Didn't get to see that because my computer is stupid. So anyway, I'm going to try it again later probably, new episode tonight at 7. Exciting. I'm finally watch it at its normal time instead of on the internet at not its normal time. Um, see what else is this week? See Wednesday night is Pushing Daisies. And there's an SB office but I'm going to miss that. So I'm going to the singing competition on Thursday and Friday. Just a little exciting. I just hope I can remember know my songs by then. Um, yeah. That's coming up. And then there's some like mini plays that they're doing this week too. The directing to class. So I'm probably going to go to those and my friends are in them. Oh, ooh, ooh. Auditions for Bye Bye Birdie are coming up. That's exciting. Um, we're supposed to sing like 16 bars from 